What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Legacy Cube. Today we have a stipulation by Scott B., our uh, our, our boy and longtime supporter, Scott B. Uh, the stipulation uh, is ultimate super friends. Uh, the goal is to amass planeswalkers and removal and hope to win. It will not win, he says, <laughs> through using their ultimate abilities. Planeswalkers are always the premier choice unless there's a superior removal control spell or highly valued mana fixing. But everything should be based around a Planeswalker victory. That's pretty sweet. I'm okay with that. And like he says, it may not win. Uh, which is why, you know, which is why I look for what I do as far as stipulation donations. Because a lot of times we're just not going to win. So, let's let's see what happens. Planeswalkers and removal and mana. That's what we're looking for here. Wow. I think, uh, I think the magic gods heard us and they were like, you know what? You can have this. We're going to give you this Nikki B. Nicholas Bolas. And um, if either of these come back, okay. Yeah, I'm taking uh, I'm uh, taking this guy. <laughs> you know what to do. Wow, that was that's an old meme. Is that are you referencing the old the old outcast meme that we used to do because that's that's hilarious if you are that's some uh that's a throwback all right all right we could have actually so here's the thing we could have actually taken like liliana and the odds of nickel bolus tabling are pretty high however if it doesn't table i feel much worse about having a liliana than the amount of good I would feel if I took Nicol Bolas and Liliana came back, right? Like, I'd rather I'd rather guarantee the Nicol Bolas. The reward for having an extra Liliana in your deck is just not... Uh, specifically, the five-mana Liliana is not super high. All right, no Planeswalkers in this pack. <clears throat> there is a Creeping Tar Pit, which goes pretty well with Nicol Bolas. Uh, there's no real removal. Vencer's okay, very good. Kolagon's Command's pretty good, but I don't really consider it removal. Hmm. I'm pretty sure it's either this or this. Yeah, Josh knows what's up. I'm going to take the Cola Guns, or the Creeping Tar Pit. I think being able to play our cards is much more uh, important to this deck than Tron Catacomb is a very easy pick here. <clears throat> what was the Flipwalker? Was it Chandra? Chandra's pretty bad. Oh, Wandering Femoral. Oh, Tamiyo the Moon Sage and a Treachery. So Treachery is Premier Removal. Uh, I think it's better than having a Tamiyo. So Scott said... Unless there's a Superior Removal or Highly Valued Mana Fixing, I'm pretty sure Treachery is Superior Removal. So we're going to take that. And I have my fingers crossed that a Tamiyo comes back. Treachery is definitely not coming back. There are definitely more... Um, there are definitely more Chandras in the queue if you're really if you're really hurting for a Chandra. Spire Bluff, Nissa Voice of Zendikar. Do we just go into four colors and like? I don't know how deep we have to go. Like Spire Bluff is mana fixing for us, which is great, but Nissa is a Planeswalker. But it might make our deck unplayable. We also only have one Planeswalker so far. We could also be Sultai Splash a little red. Alright, we're going to take that Nissa to try to stay on brand here. On brand. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. Slaughter Pact is a thing. Nibble, Nimble Obstructionist is a thing. Is it indirect? <clears throat> oh, an indirect win. I was like, I was like, what's an indirect? Is that a term? I don't understand. Um, you can take Sacred Foundry just in case we get white. 
We might be five color walkers. Is there an oath of Nissa in this cube? Can anyone find out? I'm pretty sure it comes down to this guy, this guy, or this guy. I'll take the nimble obstructionist. Whatever. We've been we've been playing this guy recently. It's fine. No planeswalkers. So I'm gonna take breeding pool. Pretty good pickup. <clears throat> Darks. Oh, woodland cemetery. I like a woodland cemetery more than a more than a dark slick shore. So this is gonna come into play untapped most of the time. So I'm just gonna take all the lands here, unless there are planeswalkers. I'm gonna assume white is the one color we're not finding ourselves in this is also eight so now we're gonna get our opening pack maybe that liliana will be, be in there still i don't think she's super high value but we'll see we'll see <clears throat> no liliana but the gideon comes back come on How are you going to act, Magic the Gathering? How are you going to act? Oh my god. <clears throat> the exact opposite of what we wanted. Gideon actually doesn't have an ultimate, though. So that's... Actually, I can avoid Gideon. He doesn't have an ultimate. Who cares about that, right? Mystic Snake. Oh, now you're talking my language. Fertile Ground is nice for the fixing. Mm. It's probably got to be Fertile Ground, right? Oh, Kodama's Reach? That's great. All right. Those are some nice light picks. So we're basically... Salt Eye. <clears throat> All our lands are Sultai lands. Believe it or not, Nicol Bolas' ultimate can win the game. But you never draft... I actually think I draft it pretty infrequently. I think... Uh, <clears throat> Like, I think it's well known that I like Sultai the most out of all the uh, the tricolor combinations, but I think people also equate that with me just playing it all the time, and I really don't think I draft it that frequently. Ooh, a Maelstrom Pulse. That's a solid removal spell. I like Nature's Lore, too, but we can get more Nature's Lores. There's only one Maelstrom Pulse. I think I much more frequently draft things like blue black or blue white. I think most of my decks have blue in them. <clears throat> I would definitely be interested to see though. I would actually be tempted to go back through all the drafts that I upload to YouTube and like just uh, mark down the color combinations that they ended up in to see what we uh, we ended up with most frequently and also to see like our records. Wow, that's a nice hinterland harbor there. Our mana is looking on point, very very on point. I'll take a vanishing light. <clears throat> Last pick, Gideon. That's impossible, by the way, but I think that would have been funny. Okay, well, that's a pretty easy pick. Seven into eight? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what we're doing. That's a nice one. That is one spicy meatball. Dang it. Abrupt Decay, Hero's Downfall. Neither of these lands do much for us. Wooded Foothills can get a uh, Breeding Pool, but that's about it. It can also get a Mountain for Nicobolus, which is interesting. Hmm. It's also a Courser of Crew Fix. I mean, <clears throat> despite the way our deck looks, we actually have uh, the highest consistency, the highest number of black lands. One, we have four black lands. We have one, two, three. Oh, I think this actually Hinterland Harbor made everything even. I think we have four of everything right now. Green, 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 four. Blue, 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 four. Yeah, we have four of everything, so.
We already have a pulse. I think we can avoid Hero's Downfall here. It might just be Corsair. I kind of like Corsair. We already have a Kodama's Reach. I'm not too concerned with this. I like Mindstone on two, but I also like Solemn at four. So that's interesting. No Planeswalkers here, to be clear. I'm going to take the Solemn here. Again, I think there are more options for 2-mana ramp than there are for 4-mana ramp. Kokusho. There's another Gideon. Again, this one doesn't have an ultimate, though. So I don't feel bad about passing Gideons when we're not, especially when we're not white, if they don't have an ultimate. Like, you're just not, you're not going to help our cause anyway. Both of these guys have game-winning ultimates. Yeah, I think it is our Brelf here. Being able to go turn three, turn two Corsair Proof Fix is pretty strong. And I don't really feel bad about passing any of these other cards. So we also do have a Breeding Pool. My concern is the number of forests we may have, but at least as, like if we have one, we're good to go. So I will value uh, Bayou, Tropical Island, and Overrun Tomb pretty highly if I see them. <clears throat> We've got the woods. We've got a breeding pool. I think that's the only one we can fetch, though. Oh, Birds of Paradise. Oh, there's a Water Grave. Water Grave cannot be untapped, but it is a very, very good one. Uh, Tooth and Nail, I didn't really care about. This Ajani is very good. I think we're just taking the birds here. God, Water Grave, why? It also is. It's also a turn two Nissa. Yeah, I like the, the the one mana guys. I think it's very very good. We can, we can have a turn two Nissa or a turn two Corsair. Can we get more Planeswalkers? That's our question. A Johnny might come back. I just I'm really I'm reluctant to play a double white card when we have zero white fixing though. Like I don't like the idea of putting the card in our deck and just drawing it and being like, well, I can never cast this literally ever. I guess we can take this Avacyn's Pilgrim and change all that. Gale of the Lotus could be very good. I don't think we're going to need a Song of the Dryads. We have enough removal in this. Uh... Like, we don't have enough removal now, but we, we will. We're in the colors. We're in the removal colors. So, I think it's just Lotus here. Temple Garden. Dismember. Deranged Hermit. No Planeswalkers, right? Okay. Okay. I think it just might be Temple Garden here. Like, if that Johnny comes back, we can theoretically play it. Oh, wow. All right. Nice reward. Ral Zarek or Vraska? Hmm. I think Vraska is stronger. Yeah, we're actually just splashing the red, so we're just taking Vraska. I just wanted to consider it, though. Um. Yeah, we'll take a Johnny. Sure, why not? Oh, Sun Petal Grove? Over Abrupt Decay? Probably. I don't know. I foresee the other Johnny coming back, and I want to be able to play both. I think Abrupt Decay is way stronger, though. All right, we'll just take the Shambling Vent instead. That is a late Pestermite, by the way. People have no respect. Eh, Edric is pretty good. Second of Johnny coming at us. Primeval Titan would be great. I agree. And other Johnny did come back. It's funny because we don't actually even like Tooth and Nail in our deck. Wow, that's 
All right. Look at our look at all these 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 white lands that just came in and helped us out. Yeah, I don't care about that. And we can also play the Banishing Light now. That's... Alright. That's pretty good. Anything good here? Wow! We did it! Oh, man. We were joking, but here it is. Wow, Josh Terrell with the, with the calls, dude. Yeah, we're definitely taking this. Uh, neither of these are better than Primeval Titan. Primeval Titan is the most premier fixing you can get in a deck like this, so. I'm just going to take Primeval Titan. I think Garrick will, might come back. Liliana might even come back. I think she's undervalued. Not undervalued, but I think she's not very good in this cube, and I think people know that, so I don't feel terrible about the Liliana. I like a Steam Vents here. Like, keep in mind, we are very light blue right now. No, we're not. We're very light red, is what I meant. I guess we're pretty heavy blue, pretty pretty decently. I like this Hangerback Walker with things like a Johnny Goldmane and a Johnny Adversary of Tyrants. That's pretty good. These are also basically two drops because they're just mana guys. I do like Jace. It lets us discard our our excess uh, our excess things like if we have a Johnny in our hand and we just can't cast it it's pretty good I'm going to take the Edric out I don't foresee us attacking very frequently Nimble Obstructionist is kind of a sideboardy card it's it's fine in the main deck but I want to make sure we have a ton of room Dragonlord Silumgar is pretty good that guy can steal a Planeswalker which is basically the same also, none of these lands are great, and um, actually, Dragon Skull Summit's fine. If we, if we could get a Dragon Skull Summit, I'd be okay with that. Anyway, taking this guy. Wow, we could have had Kiki Jiki and Pestermite. That's really sad. Scrubland seems great, though. All right, Scrubland it is. Wood Elves is actually pretty good, though. <coughs> what can we get with Wood Elves? Just Breeding Pool so far? And Temple Garden? Hmm. I might like that better. I took the Silmgar over Damnation. Um, I don't know if that's correct. But, like, I don't want to be... Like, we have Birds and, and Arbor Elf and Corsair of Crew Fix, and I really don't want to just wipe the whole board when a lot of our mana fixing is is reliant on having guys on board. I'm pretty sure it's either this or Wood Elves. I want to take the Wood Elves. I want to be able to... Oh, Scalding Tarn is great. It gets us Breeding Pool, and it gets us just Breeding Pool right now. It gets us Mountain, which we will have one Mountain in the deck for searching purposes. We also don't have Ultimate Price yet. An ultimate price like effect that is. Obviously, we don't have ultimate price because it's right here. I'm going to take Scalding Tarn, I think. Actually, I don't love Scalding Tarn because it only has a few targets. You know what I mean? Like, there's definitely been times where I have a land like this, but I only run two islands and one mountain, and I'll just draw those cards. I'm going to take the ultimate price. I feel like a batter skull. Merfolk Lure is nice, but we already have Jace Friend's Prodigy. Bane Slayer could be good, but I really like I feel like we're pushing our white already. We actually don't have any red fixing right now except for like one mountain, which is pretty funny. It could just be batter skull. But I think I think we just take Bane's <sighs> I actually have no idea. I think it's probably batter skull, actually. Batter skull's pretty good. Okay, well, this guy didn't yield yesterday. This guy was unyielding, like, the entire time, so. Alright, we have 24 cards now, so we're definitely at the uh, cutting point. 
I like a Dromoka. I like an Ojitai. Cast out's good. Hmm. I think it's Dromoka. Just in case we get Hissing Quagmire. Okay. Actually, Gonti's probably better. We have a lot of fixing lands already. How many is this? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, nine. Actually, we thought we had more than that. Searching purposes is my favorite Christian. <laughs> that's gas. Oh, that's hilarious. I also don't want that many lands to come and play untapped. Steam vents coming back is pretty gas. Eh, Razor Ridge Thicket's fine. Scrubland coming back is insane. That is also a, a ridiculously late Kiki Jiki. All right, these lands just went amazing. Okay, so we, went, we just went from nine to uh, twelve, which is pretty nice. How many walkers do we have? I think a good amount. Uh, settles good. Settles good. Also, Jace is kind of a walker. Uh, we have eight. That's a good amount. We do need two cuts, though. How many of Johnny's is too many? Uh, four? Haha, <laughs> that's awkward. All right, two cuts. Cutting Bolas seems okay. False. I'm going to cut the Batter Skull. And I think we might be able to... Can we do 16 lands here? Like, there's a lot of expensive stuff, but there's also a lot of fixing. And Solemn. And Gilded Lotus. Five gets you eight. That's what they say. We could probably cut Banishing Light. We have Maelstrom Pulse and Abrupt Decay already. Yeah, this should be fine. Let's... Oh, God. This deck is... This deck is actually a masterpiece. Is it worth the one red splash? Are you being serious right now? Off of Steam Vents, Gilded Lotus, Solemn Simulacrum, Birds of Paradise, Fertile Ground, Kodama's Reach, One Mountain? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it is. These are all the ways we have to get one red mana. And then the one mountain. So we're definitely putting in one mountain. Oh, you're crazy. Kind buds, you must have started early today, buddy. Okay, red we're good on. You're sending another in the box you'll send me? Casper, come on. That's insane, buddy. I also feel like you need my information for that. That's super cool of you, though, if you're going to do that. And, uh, yeah, that yeah, definitely do. Uh, definitely put a step in the box. We could do it for the Holiday Cube. That would be fantastic. All right. What was I going to do? I was going to go over here and go to Properties and then go to Analysis. Okay, this is what we need to look at. 
Now I'm gonna keep a keep an eye on this as I. You did say it, but I mean that's a that's a sizable uh, gift slash donation for the stream. So I, I mean I really appreciate it a lot. I just never want to hold anybody to that kind of stuff because you know that's a big that's a big thing and obviously super cool that you would do that. I really appreciate it. That's actually super cool. We can open it on stream too. All right, let's sort. Uh, we did that. All right, so let's sort these lands by color. That's what we want to do. Actually, no, we don't. That's a lot of work. All right, so let's go with with white source. We have five white pips in the deck. How many white mana do we have? One. We have no fetch lands, which I'm actually okay with. So four, <clears throat> plus this, plus this, plus you know all the other things. We can just add like what are the what are the mana sources that like add everything. Basically these, right? You guys, you can go over there. Basically these five. Okay. So this is essentially nine white sources. I think we want probably two. Do we only get four lands? Oh god, we get four basics here? Oh goodness gracious. We definitely want one white. Do we just want one of each? Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm really hoping this works out. Hold on. One, two, three, four. How much black do we have? Five, six, seven. Seven black sources. It's not bad. I can see holding off on one of the black sources. How many green sources? That's the important one. The green source is the most important. Six. It's not bad. I am going to add probably two green. And blue sources, let's find out. Green gets us everything else, which is why it's obviously the most important. Nothing else here? Only five blue. Oh, we already have a swamp in here? Oh, how did that swamp get in here? Hmm. Hmm. I don't think I actually do want a swamp. Which is rough because we can't search for it. So one, two, three, we have five blue sources, right? How many black sources did we have again? <laughs> this is so tedious. The most tedious part of a deck like this is just the mana base, figuring everything out. Six black sources naturally. Or seven. Actually, seven's good. Okay, we can actually just add an island here and not worry about swamps. All right. I'm, I think we're I think we're doing it. Also, once we get to like Gilded Lotus or Fertile Ground, like, I think we're just fine. This is like the perfect hand. Keep it. We don't have a swamp in the in the deck, don't forget. So Kodama's Reach does not get that. We can get a Plains. Coalition Relic or a Chromatic Lantern even would have been great. Having our lands produce any color is pretty gas. Yep, we're just going all in on the uh, on the Kodama's Reach into grab a mountain, grab a Momo White. That's that's insulting. Thankfully, all the cards in our hand are only one black. So, like, if, even if we just, uh, I feel like naturally drawing a black is good, but the problem is we have Shambling Vent and Coalition Relic in the deck, so the odds of naturally drawing a... Yeah, I think we need a Swamp now that I've seen all the ways we can search for basics. Nice, nice, okay. Uh, mountain and Plains. Uh, put the Plains in play. Look at this greedy Fing deck. What's a Fing deck? 
Is that is that like an LA thing? Is that like just a hip term for it? Check out my fing dick. Ten hello, wow, I hope this deck works out, bits. Zaxor, nice. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. Preach. Yeah, I might cut the mountain for for the swamp. Um then the problem is we have no way to search for a mountain, right? We have no way to get it out of the deck. Jimbo too shady, what's going on? Okay, so I assume they have a counter spell for Vraska. I would rather them counter this guy. Or we can just play in a Johnny on an empty board. That seems good too, right? Let's do that. Do you even care about this? Nope, didn't think so. You will, once I make my, my avatar. Uh, we definitely don't have all the black cards in our hand. We are missing Maelstrom Pulse. Nope, Maelstrom Pulse is in our hand. Oh, boy. We are missing Gonti, which is nice. Can't play Vraska. That's a good point. I had not considered that because I what this wasn't going to anyway. So We do not have a basic swamp. It is the one basic land we did not include because we actually have the most sources of black in the deck. Um, I don't know. You got to make a sacrifice somewhere. I really want a black before they splinter twin us, though. That is my... If we can go black source into Solemn here, I, I think we have... I think we're in good shape. Ah, we did it. God, we're so good at this game. Thankfully, because this is the only card in our hand we can play, so... Oh, also... Nicol Bolas is double black, so we actually really do need a black source in the in the to search out. Oh, Johnny didn't tick up. Yeah, he did. He ticked up twice. He's at six. Come on. Why not draw black naturally? Everything about that, I did, and then I did it. We actually have Nicol Bolas mana, except for this. And, no, actually, it doesn't matter. It's not Cruel Ultimatum. We just need a second black. What's happening right now? I do like that we can keep Ultimate Price up now, which is really where I want to be. So really, I want one more black mana. Burst Lightning. Oh, you killed my... Look at that. Throwing the Burst Lightning at the Ajani. Hater's going to hate. Oh, that guy's never getting cast. Shake it off. Shake it off. Yeah, we're definitely adding one more, one swamp to the deck in in some way, somehow. They're tricking you into winning the game. Don't fall for it. <laughs> oh, man. Feels like a scam. Magma Jet and Char? Wow. The amount of resources they're expending to these Planeswalkers is pretty good. Yeah, I guess we're just going to keep up uh, all the things. What did they do with the Char? Two cards on the bottom? They didn't like either of those. I might cut Razor Verge Thicket for a Swamp. Then we're cutting a green and a white source for a black source, though. It doesn't really feel great. Hmm. 
We're gonna steal this guy? Hmm. If you attack both of the Johnny, I'll probably just kill your zealous conscripts. I don't really want to play 18 lands in the deck because we have a lot of mana sources. How dare you kill my Johnny? Another black card, huh? Okay. We could just be making this like a 5-5 five five every turn. Not every turn, but make it a 5-5 five five and then a 6-6 six six and then a 7-7. Seven seven. We could be making it towards a, like, a, like a big big every turn. That's... I thought we was friends. We are friends. Super friends. Got him. Also, the color intensity gets a little high after I have multiple people on stream, so I have to lower it manually. That's probably better. All right, now we're talking. <clears throat> I'm just going to keep making a big... Uh, like, if we are able to ultimate a, a Johnny and they don't have... Uh, they don't have a way to deal with it, like... I'm tempted to not cape. I, I want to play Gonti here because if they have like Pestermite, Splinter Twin, slash Kiki Jiki, they just kill us. And that doesn't sound good for anybody. Also, Abrupt Decay is a great foil for that because they cannot counter it. Stigmata, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. See, now I'm tempted to play this guy and activate this. We need the black though. That would that would take up both of our black sources. So again, not really interested in that. We are gonna play this guy no matter what though. I'm not sure if I want to gain two life here. I'm pretty sure we just plus both of these. Cause this puts you to six and that's a two turn clock. What's going on? Okay. We basically won this game off of Psalm Simulacrum, if we indeed won this game. But they're not comboing yet. Tar Pit is not eligible to win? <laughs> that is correct. Sorry, it is excluded from the, the sweepstakes. What are you doing? Mizium Mortars. That's okay. Sure, the one turn I... The one turn I choose to negative a Johnny is the one turn you Mizium Mortars and kill everything I have. Okay, what can we do here? One, two, three, four, five, four, five. Yeah, we can actually do all the things. One, two, three, four, five. Gilded Lotus. Uh, black, black, and this one. Play Gonti, and we still have Abrupt Decay Mana up in spades. <laughs> um, Dark Dwellers gets Ultimate Price or Kodama's Reach. I don't think we actually have that many basics left. We could just play Splinter Twin. We can't target. We can target Gonti, can't we? Oh, we can. Kiki Jiki does not let you target Gonti. I mean, either way, they don't have the Splinter Twin in their deck right now, which is nice. I'm just going to take the Dark Dwellers. Splinter Twin plus Gonti, just see their whole deck. The problem is I, I feel like they can deal with a 2-3 pretty easily in their red-blue deck. And they definitely have Splinter Twin, which is obnoxious. Yep, that is why we did not Splinter Twin this guy. They're very high on the one-for-one one plan here. Which is why, unless they have, like, into the Royal or something, I don't think they can really kill our Johnny. And 
I'll just go this one and this one, Courser of Crucifix. No land. Put you to three if you don't have another burn spell, which you've used a lot. Rift Bolt, Mizzy Mortars, Magma Jet, Char, Burst Lightning, and Brimstone Volley. Oh boy, exhausting. Yep, just gonna pass here. So Johnny at five? Oh boy, getting close. Drawing a fertile ground. Good times, good times. I don't think I need you untapped. Also don't want you concealed. We actually have nothing in the graveyard to get other than ultimate price. We can't really Kodama's reach. I don't think we have any more basics. <laughs> mm -hmm. Always yield to you. And we can actually put counters on this guy. We can also just play this guy as a 4-4, right? Like... And, and the Kadama's Reach actually shuffles our library, which is kind of nice. Concealed Courtyard was the last card on top. Let's see if that stays there. Uh, yeah, sure. Nope, Jace is now new. Yeah, we're just going to try to win the game here. Put you to three. Both creatures are lethal, and we have a Rope to Chaos, so. Fact or fiction, eh? So what do we have? How much power do we have? Five. We have ten power on board. I think these are the only two we care about. Mm. I don't care if you have a... Yeah, that's fine. That's a fine split. We're, you're never going to get Ancestral Vision, so it's basically a braid or these two. Mm. Probably should have put the mountain with these two, actually. Yep. So they took Pillar and Searing Spear. They can kill one of these two. They're both lethal. Draw two cards and discard two cards. You got it. And Abrupt Decay being uncounterable is pretty strong. Do you guys know that? <laughs> they also seem to have zero other targets for things like Maelstrom Pulse or Dragon Lord Cylindar, so I can probably take those guys out. My god, <laughs> this is some digging we're doing here. Discard Perforos. Okay, that doesn't die to these either, so. Rally Zally. You got it. Interesting that you showed me this. Because I don't think this is going to change the game for you. Okay, he's tapped. You can't cryptic command. I don't think there's a bounce tap spell other than that. 
I have a good feeling about the game being over right now, but... Also, we can just Dragonlord and Stolengar steal this, and then, uh... That would be pretty pretty hilarious, actually. And then shoot them in the face with their own rally rally zally. Okay. Things we can take out by Frank Lepore. Add this one swamp in the deck. They had five cards left in the deck? That's pretty comical. I think Batter Skull is actually a very good threat against them. This is our only double blue card. They do have a Ralzarek, so I, I think I could see keeping in Solemgar. Can probably take out Maelstrom Pulse. I'm going to take out the island. The only double blue card we have is Treachery. Oh, I hate not having a basic of every, of every type. Maybe we just take out one forest. Nimble Obstructionist could be good here. I kind of like that. I'll take out one forest. I'll bring. I'll keep the island in. I don't know. My only problem is that I don't have... Like, I have these and I want them on one. But I guess they're also fine on two. I'm just going to submit like this. We have a lot of mana sources and 17 lands. I think this is fine. Uh, Jamoka seems pretty good. Unfortunately, they do have... Uh, yeah, this hand's great. Double black, double blue, double green. And a white. And we can go get a Temple Garden. That's pretty amazing. I was not expecting this. Jamoka seems good against their burn, sure. Um, probably better than Dragonlord Solengar, actually, on the in hindsight. Fascinating. Really, you're not going to give me either land? That's really sad. Batter Skull. Yeah, not having a play before turn three is pretty rough here. Let's get a Temple Garden so we can at least a Johnny if we want to. Okay, well, they didn't kill us, so that's good. We can also just play Batter Skull next turn, which is pretty strong. If they have a Braid, it's rough. But any other spell, you're just kind of like, meh. I'll just return it and replay it again. Not one land has been revealed. We do have a Vraska here. We can just shoot this. Eh, probably going to play Corsair for Fix. We also didn't see any counter spells from them, which is interesting. Oh, we don't have double black. Did I say double black? I don't know. Maybe I did. We can still get it with Kodama's Reach, so. Char. A braid and... Actually, seeing the braid gone is pretty sweet because they, they not only two for one themselves, but we also get to batter skull next turn, so.
We can also, we have no two drops, so if we play this, that we're, we're like just locked into doing that. But they also have three cards in hand, and this could set us up better. One, two, three. It puts us at seven, so we can play a Johnny and nothing else, I guess. Yeah, we haven't hit one land off of Goblin Guide after, uh, I think we gained, what, two life off of this? Maybe? One? And then we blocked one. Yeah, so five hits. Five hits with a with a Goblin Guide, zero lands. Yeah, we're just going to batter Skull here. I would like an instant speed removal spell like an ultimate price or an abrupt decay to uh, not have to worry about dying immediately. If they don't have char, this guy's good. And their hand also has to be like both pieces. We didn't see a Kiki Jiki. They might actually just have Splinter Twin and. Oof. And Zell's Conscripts. They might not have the other pieces. I don't know. They probably do. Now they're going to Searing Spear, which is fine. Get the other Swamp. Get the Mountain. Put the Swamp into play. Play the mountain. And kill this guy, and we can just bounce it, which is totally fine. They have two cards in hand. I'm feeling okay. He gets a primeval titan next turn, which is a cool thing to do. Rally Zally. We can also just Dragon Lord Silengar and steal that. Which I'm very okay with. I will tap it. Another land. Okay, so you have one card in hand. That seems good. All right. Oh, Dragon Lord and the ult is nice, but I don't like leaving it on board for that long, if that makes sense. Probably still want to do it. Our goal is to win with Planeswalkers, right? So... We could just play Gonti and nothing else. If we hit a land, we can play Gonti, a Johnny, black, black, white, white. Yeah, that would work. Otherwise, we might just play Primeval Titan just to thin our deck. Yeah, we're just going to play Primeval Titan here. Let's get some goodness. Shambling Vent and Creeping Tar Pits. And play another land. All right. Now we got some some beefy beefy boys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have ten lands. That's pretty insane. They have one card in hand. As long as they have one card in hand, I'm 100% okay with it because it means they're not going to combo us. Ooh, no attack, huh? Hmm. One, two, three, four. 
gone to he. I actually like Char because it kills all of the... Um, it's an instant speed removal spell that we could use to kill all of their things. One, two, three, four. We can keep Char up, actually. Just play a Johnny here. Steam Vents and a Razor Verge. Thank God. I just want to get the lands that are going to come into play untapped. Or tapped, rather. This is a lot of lands. If they sacrifice Arid Mesa to go get, like, um, a white source for, like, an Armageddon, I'd probably cry. Yeah, we did see Zealous, so they can, like, Zealous us and take this, but, I mean, then we'll take nine. It's totally fine. Or we'd probably lose in a Johnny. But, I mean, this also kills Ellis Conscripts, which is why we kept it, so. We we can take Rallon Ultimate. That is ideally our our plan. Oh, wow. Are you just going to double kill this? Oh, are you going to Rallon negative? No. Well, that's unfortunate. Yes. Excellent. The nice part is that even if they, like, counter it somehow, we get to still get the Vraska and just get rid of it. So we're not really scared of it. Two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Got him. Whoop. Flip them coins. Heads, you win the flip. Tails, you lost. One, lost, lost. Two extra turns. And they have no cards in hand. So, Scott wanted us to win by ultimating Planeswalkers. I think we can do it. Turn number one. Ultimate you. We've just ultimated two planeswalkers, so let's ultimate a third. I feel like I feel like this is we're we're at peak stipulation right here, boys. Let's make sure this gets in there. Negative 16. That was pretty gas. <laughs> oh, man. And we had three assassins on board, you know, just in case. I would also say it counts even more. That's fantastic. That was good times. All right, let's take one of four. So we'll put the one, one swamp in there. Wow. I can't guarantee that it's going to go as well in the future matches, but I, I think that win was worth it. So even if we go 1-2, it's still fine. I would like to have you meet one of the
this hand is great. I'm pretty sure we just go Wooded Foothill into Bird. Yeah, we're going to Wooded Foothill into Bird. Or we can actually Fertile Ground. No Oath and Friend. <laughs> Spaghetti Toucher, glad you think so, buddy. I also had a, had a good feeling about it. Oh, that's nice. So next turn we can go Courser into this. <laughs> I had such a good Sunday, but this week has just been... Well, it's only Tuesday so far. Oh, Bells Unlock in the Graveyard. And reanimate. Here we go. Dark Confidant. Okay. Do they have Force Spike? I don't think they have Force Spike for some reason. It's just a feeling I have. We have a lot of options here. We can play Fertile Ground, Land. I think we just play Fertile Ground, Land, and Courser. We lose the Land uh, perk. One, two, one, two. Yeah, and the, but uh, like we lose the life, but uh, it's such a better board advancement. Uh, add a green. Add another green. And there's going to be a land on top. No, there's a Silumgar on top. And they did not have Force Spike, which is nice. This also comes into play tapped next turn, which is kind of unfortunate, but what can you do? I will not block. What did they flip? An island? God, so lucky. Lucky, 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 lucky. One, two, three, four, five. We do get to prime time next turn. That's actually a pretty solid... That's a pretty solid creature. I don't know if you guys knew that about Primeval Titan. We could also play it safe in just a Johnny. Because they have four mana. I think we're doing that. Yeah, they're going to Cryptic Command. Yep, that's basically Cryptic Command. That is definitely why I did not want to play Primeval Titan. If you want to attack with your Bob, that is fine. They have five cards, we have three cards, but I think we're doing better. What are you doing right now? Skin render? You can kill my bird? Wow, that's rude. Oh well, still gonna prime evil titan. Don't care. And they hit a skin render off of that? Wow. Wow. Incredible. Man, remember that time there was lands on top? Me neither. Uh, I want a green here. Another green here. Yes, use this ability. What do we got here? We want a red? No. 
want a steam vents. That's better. And a second blue source. Creeping tar pit. No, I will not pay two life. Yeah, I'm just going to pass here. Probably, uh... Uh, we're actually two mana off of doing Lotus in prime time. We had exactly six. So if we use five to play Lotus, we'd only have four mana. Two mana off. Two mana off. Here comes either Terminate or Dreadbore. Or that guy. Okay. This course is holding down the f holding down the fort though. I'll block here. Disfigure? No, you just lose your dark confound. Okay. Fascinating. Do we have any way to shuffle the deck? Don't think so. One, two, activate, one, two, activate. We can actually just activate both of our lands, too. One, two, three, four, five. We'd have three, four, five, and a land left over, so we can't do everything. Valley Man, what's going on? Always a pleasure, good sir. That's for Valley Man. Um, did you just play Nissa here? Do we just go Guild of Lotus into Nissa? That seems okay. We have two blockers. They have 5,000 cards in their hand. They're also at 12. We can actually just attack for a million here. Otherwise, you have two blockers. You just go block, block, which they, they wouldn't attack with this guy. Is it sad I tried pausing this thinking it was YouTube? No, because I did, that happens all the time. Do not feel bad about that. Five cards, two lands. Actually, I like... Make a green, green, black. And then we have... Uh, blue and black. Actually, I guess I don't have to tap the black. I can just use this. Yeah, that seems fine. Yeah, just make a little flower. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to do all this. This is all fine. Should have played this first and then just used it for Nissa. This is pretty, pretty poor mana. But I didn't encounter it, so... Next turn, I like the idea of activating both of these and then putting counters on everything. It seems pretty good. The tubes of you. That sounds much weirder than you tubes. Also, didn't eat anything today, which is probably not going to bode well. Um, also, so I'm probably only to do this one, this one draft because later tonight we're going to likely try to do some commander, me and Mike, which would probably be about eight or nine, depending on whenever he's done. He's going to eat dinner with like his stepbrother or something. I don't know. Some kind of nonsense, some kind of jazz. So I'm just going to assume that whenever that's done, eight or nine ish Eastern time, we will be doing some commander because I'm really <laughs> eating is kind of an important thing. Yeah. You know, I have heard that. This is a uh, this is a uh, an opinion I've I've come to as well. Yeah, today I was just like I don't feel like cooking anything. Like I don't have anything quick in the house, so I was just like, eh, whatever, I'll be fine. And everyone keeps like surpri a surprising amount of people have shown interest in the more commander content. So who am I to deny them? Who am I? The answer is is no one. But yeah, we have a pretty cool deck. Um, I think. Maybe we don't. Maybe we do. 
Maybe we do. Hungry Howard is always fast and easy and close to you. That's true. I just didn't want to spend like 10 bucks on lunch. We get back here. It's gotta be Primeval Titan, right? And I just Dragon Lord Solengard. Oh my god. <laughs> Valley Man, that's pretty ridiculous. I don't know why you are the way you are, but here we are. September is good times. If you guys have been gifted a sub, or if you uh, if you're just resubbing, I think if you're just resubbing, um, or if it is it only gift subs, I actually don't know. Either way. You should be able to resub for $1 for September. So do that. Because then you make everybody happy. Abrupt Decay. Uh, we Actually, we knew it was going to be Abrupt Decay. We actually could see the, the top of our deck. So, you know. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then we can activate one land and put counters on all of those things. So we have blue black, we have yeah, well, this is fine. Wow, they could not have countered this guy faster. Seems good. Well, that is unfortunate, isn't it? Oh man, if you get a gift sub, it's only one dollar. That's insane. What a crazy, what a time to be alive. Blue, this, yep, yep, gonna activate this gentleman. I guess we'll try to close this game out now that they have our primeval titan and we can't do anything about it. One more land for Kodama's Reach. Actually, we could have just probably played Kodama's Reach, but I kind of want to draw the Gonti as well, so... Mm. You know. Gonti seems pretty good against them, I would presume. Nissa is likely going to die to this Primeval Titan. Splashing for Talon Trooper? Who, who is splashing for Talon Trooper? I don't understand what's going on right now. Somebody said, the, someone said Talon Trooper, so now the Trooper is in my head. That's how that works. You take my life, but I'll take yours too. Oh, you're attacking face? This is all very interesting. Did I change my display settings? No. Why? Why do you ask? I had a thought for big time streamers. They can go ahead and give away a large number of subs with the request that those that get them resub for a dollar not only do you guys are 250 back in the next month, some of them might stick around and stay sub even longer. Yeah, but yeah, I mean it's yeah, that's actually I mean it's it's hard to do though. It's hard to get that many people to um well everyone is going face? Oh, this little gentleman is going Anissa. Okay. I guess I'll block here, which you probably want me to do. But I'd rather not take nine because that's a one turn clock instead of a two turn clock, so. You probably also have just a re another reanimate spell to get Skin Render back, but wouldn't you rather just get Demon Lord Bells Unlock or. Wouldn't, wouldn't Bells. Why did you attack there? What is even happening right now? Oh, 
that's sad. So they have three cards in hand. We have a Jace on top. I don't think that's going to do anything for us. One, two, three, activate. One, two, three, activate. I would like to attack with this Shambling Vent, but I can't really justify it, I don't think. We can, however, attack with this Spicy Gentleman. You look more saturated than usual. You might have changed something. I did actually. So the funny thing is when there's more when there's more people on camera, the color intensity goes down. So I have to raise it to make myself uh, to make it to make it more red. More red. <laughs> what makes the red man red? All right. But then like I'll lower it and I'll just be like, now we're just old timey, right? Now we're just black and white. But yeah, so usually it hovers around here. It's hard to like get it exact. Like, I don't know. But yes, that's definitely uh, a thing. I guess they can just go to one here. Is that what they're doing? Wow. Do we just keep shambling vent up? Or do we actually go search for some lands? Like, this is going to gain us two and prevent three. I guess we'll just keep it back. Turn it way up. Hold on. Yeah, that's, let's do that for a second. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> that's amazing. Hey, guys. If we go to so we go to 11 if we play this right and there actually could be a land on top i think we're gonna do that because if they have any removal spell for this we take six seven and eh, we don't actually take that much though yeah i'm just gonna keep shambling vent back if they kill this i mean they only have four cards only have four cards famous last words i'm sure it's okay what happened they only have four cards in hand Actually doesn't do much. Tarpit still kills you. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Actually, if if you have a removal spell for the tarpit, it does not kill you, so. However, us getting two more man two more life going to 11, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, we'd still die, so. You're gonna disallow this? That's actually incredible. Must be nice. <laughs> actually, fantastic. Must be so nice to have it all. Alright. Nimble obstructionist seems great against necromancy, because necromancy's a trigger. We also couldn't hit abrupt decay, couldn't hit maelstrom pulse. I'm gonna bring in uh banishing light as well. Tell me more about what it's like to have everything. We take out, though. Treachery doesn't seem great, unfortunately. Might be better than Dragonlord, though. I'll take out Dragonlord. They didn't seem to have a lot of creatures. Our creatures, our creatures were our creatures. Plus, they did have a remove soul, so if we get to keep in Treachery... It just seems better. Whatever. I, 
I'm not a man who minds submitting 41. Also, I make dance. I actually had a question for you. I was going to email you, but it might just be a little easier to ask here. Um, what if I actually play your deck next week and I can use Guilds of Ravnica to make changes? Because I think the, the three mana knight is probably going to be pretty good in an archetype like that. Let me know if you would be okay with that. I'm going to keep this because all we need is one green. Famous, most famous last words. And uh, we'll see if that actually comes to fruition. No Hinterland Harbor. No Woodland Cemetery. Preferably a forest or like a Temple Garden or a Razor Verge stick would be nice here. <laughs> Ideally, Mike would not be sleeping with the last name Lagavul and that I paid for. So that would be green oh uh, uh i see a, a a green card thank you this one mountain is tripping us up i don't like it mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay well we're getting somewhere i don't know where but we're getting there and they have dismiss mana okay Okay, another black. Another black. Seems good. Seems good. Can we attack with this without uh, Reprisal? Let's find out. A reprisal only kills a creature with four or more toughness uh, or power. You can completely. You're dead, Forrest. <laughs> I think it's more like I'm, I'm dead because of the... I think the Forrest actually killed me. Oh, man, we're so good at this game. Oh, we could have Wood Elves then Kodama's Reach. That would have been better. But I know they have Remove Soul in their deck, so... Let me get another one of these, and another one of these, I guess. Oh, now we got the game on lockdown. Venser? Sure. Ain't nobody got time for that. Am I the only thing in this deck would be significantly better with unclaimed territory? Yes, you are. Yes, you are, you consistent troll. You beautifully consistent troll, you. Oh, I like a banishing light. Can we just primeval titan? And then they remove soul it? Can we just Garrick Apex Predator? They have Disallow, but they don't have the Disallow mana, so let's just do that. Let's presume this resolves because they don't have what they need. You can't have Remove Soul, you can't have Disallow, you can't have Dismiss. Oh my god. This is how... We do it. It seems pretty good. <clears throat> Damn, boy! He's thick! Boy! That's a thick-ass boy! Damn! Ba -ba! <laughs> it gets me every time. Oh, man. Going to the face. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. I don't know if they have a way to steal this. There's no confiscate in the cube. There's a treachery. There's a control magic. Nickel bolus in the graveyard. No red source, it seems. It is the butt ba. That's the the butt ba at the end is really uh, discard a card. Uh, Wood elves is probably not. Yeah, I feel like we're in really good shape here. So we can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven mana. We can go Nissa and Banishing Light. Just Banishing Light, the uh, probably the Narcomancy because I, I if this if we Banishing like this because then it go, this goes into the graveyard. If we Banishing like this, they can somehow get rid of this. Maybe. 
I also don't want to play into uh, Remove Soul anymore. We could also just kill this with Garrick, but what's the point? Maybe that's better. I mean, if they steal it with Solomongar, we're just going to kill a Solomongar with a Vraska or Banishing Light, so I'm not too concerned with that. The only reason I don't like Vra Vraska as an option when we have these two is because we can also play Nissa this turn. So we can go one, two, three for you, and still have a white, and still have a... No, we, don't, we actually can't go Banishing Light. We're just going to play Banishing Light here. They have Cyclonic Rift, right? Which is why I wanted to get rid of the Necromancy instead. My board's getting a little packed here. <laughs> like, so they're two turns away from ultimating Cyclonic Rift. But if they Banishing Light on, like, our turn, get their Nickel Bolas back, it's pretty bad. That's an interesting choice in their deck. Oh, I didn't even play the Creeping Tarpet. I totally forgot. Dang it. There's so much going on. Oh, now you're hitting the Garrick. All right. This is a sign that you likely do not have a Silumgar. Well, that's pretty good for for the future. They also didn't hit a land drop there, so they are... They can have a Disallow now. I mean, I'm pretty sure we just play Vraska, and if you want to counter it, you can counter it. Why does chat not allow the pyramid? I don't even know what the pyramid is. Actually, I don't think we need a Vraska here. Well, we're going to Vraska, because if they have... So here's the thing. If Vraska gets countered, it's fine. But if they have Into the Royal, or not Into the Royal, but a Cyclonic Rift, and they want to bounce this end of turn to attack one of the Planeswalkers, then they can't do that if they disallow. So we'll let them do that. That's fine. You can have that. Because now you have one dude on board. You can't Cyclonic Rift this turn. You can Silumgar, but then we can steal it. And we get to play Primeval Titan at that point. Yep, Garrick's just uh, really taking a beating here. Damnation. <laughs> Toxic Deluge. You got it. One. Can I just kill you here? One, two, three. One, two, three. So we, we, need, we need a second black so we can't. Otherwise we could, though. I think... Oh, man, they still got their two, their two blue up. That's pretty cool. Play this. One, two, three. Um, we're actually gonna activate you anyway. Black, white, this one. Blooming is a second black, you are not wrong. However, not this turn, it's not. And that'll do. Our deck is sweet. All right. I like the Banishing Light inclusion. Again, though, they have Cyclonic Rift, so if they bounce a Banishing Light, I'd rather have... I guess I guess if they bounce it anyway, they still get Necromancy back, which still gets the creature back. So it could work the same way. Oh, also we boarded out Arcelumgar. I guess that's fine. 
Dragon Lord Dramoka actually seems great. We can take out the Primeval Titan. Because if they're going to sit there and just keep up, like, remove Solar Disallowed, then we can just go Dragon Lord Dramoka, play Planeswalker. Pretty sick. This hand is rough. I don't think I want to keep this, but... Especially on the draw. Yeah, we have to mulligan for the Garrick. Eh, this hand is actually much better. A Johnny Goldman has been good. I want to put this on the bottom. I don't think it, it, it really doesn't increase our... It lets us play turn four a Johnny, but they also have Toxic Deluge, and Toxic Deluging for one is pretty bad. How do I get better at cube in the future? I would say do it a lot and watch players who do it a lot and see what works for them. All right, so now we know that we're not going to lose to Toxic Deluge. Oh, that was a very good draw. I think we have a forest in our deck. Temple Garden, yes. That is great. That was our last forest, so... Oh, I see. I see what we're doing here. Yep, there goes Dragon Lord Jamoka. That is unfortunate. And one of our two red sources. Not ideal draws here. Consider we can draw a breeding pool instead of... Um, what do you call it? Instead of a... Uh, Arbor Elf. The Arbor Elf probably would have been better here. <laughs> now they just skin render our bird and then we can't play anything on turn. F yeah, that's pretty bad. Oh, Nicol Bolas, really? Dang. Dang. Although if they didn't hit a second Swamp Lake, do they just not have another land drop? They do. All right. Gonti. So we just get to resolve it in a Johnny. That's pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six. The Arbor Elf. <laughs> Oh, wonderful. Can you just Dragon Lord Jamoka here? I guess we could exile it. Does it say owner or controller? Controller, of course it does. Three more lands. All right. This Ashiok is pretty hard for us to deal with, especially when we just put a Breath Decay on the bottom. Okay, so I can just kill your dark. They hit their throw their dark confident away pretty easily. Much to my surprise. They're at 14, like. Oh, skin runner's still in hand, actually. Oops. I was so uh locked into them playing it last turn on our bird. This seems good. Vanishing Light would be nice because we can... Oh, I'll put all three. Boop, 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 boop. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven mana, so we can play Nissa. Keep up Nimble Obstructionist, maybe for like an Ashiok ultimate. We can also play two three mana things. Like these two and keep and play bird play arbor elf rather let's just play a gaunty here black black green this one 
Let's see if your deck is as good. Remove soul. All right, well. Uh, Ranger. No, Rogue. Rogue. Rogue is my final answer, Matthew Ori. Vraska's gone, Maelstrom Pulse gone, and Solemn Simulacrum gone. All right, well, the Sashiok is... Yikes. Uh, I'll snapcaster and I will uh, do the thing. Well, that's unfortunate. But I actually think that's fine. Is this, this is a 10? Oh, this is actually, this could be good. I'm hoping the ultimate ash shock because if we have ten cards in our in our deck. We are actually just fine. <sighs> really, you're not gonna ultimate Ashiok? Oh god, you're so frustrating. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Next time we have ten, so we can play Apex Predator and Nimble Obstructionist, which seems okay. I don't know how we win with this. Uh... I'm going to counter that instead. Is that what they use with Gonti? I think that was their Gonti. Yeah, it says owned, so I would assume so. Interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm just gonna play this guy. And maybe I just kill you through your Ashiok. You have two mana. You have a really counter spell. Okay. Well, that seems good. Congratulations. I will put none of them in my hand. Uh, this, this. Actually, I think I want it the opposite way. Okay. Well, you can Ashiok here if you'd like. But all of our guys are getting plus five... And then you can play this, then we can... Now we're not going to draw X cards, that doesn't seem good at all, so we're not doing that. I mean, they never don't have it. They've had it every single time. They've had Counterspell, they've had Snapcaster. They only played, like, one card. Like, Ashiok's the only threat they've really played this, this game. I'm sure they're going to have uh, Toxic Deluge for one here, so... Our odds are pretty are pretty low, but I feel like we have a chance, so... Three lands. Seems good. We have two cards. We draw one. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, to the surprise of no one.
I mean, it's a pretty cool game, and like we, we got real close to just winning with a, a Johnny Ultimate. But I mean, what do you do when they always have it? If we stack this, I meant to stack this the other way so that the uh, abrupt decay would have been drawn, and we can kill the Ashiok. But now they just mill us, and we're dead on board. Pretty sure there's nothing we can do here. Like, we can make an 8. Nine. Ten. We can deal them ten damage. Uh, we only have one man land, so we can't activate two man lands. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's any way we can win this game. If if this creature got haste somehow, that'd be great. But abrupt decay would probably win us the game, I think, because we could just attack them for like nine, and then they'd have to have a way to deal with this next turn. But whatever. Still not terrible. I still think that match was surprisingly close for uh, how quickly they got the Ashiok out. However, we did have like five answers to Ashiok, and they, they ended up drawing one of them. The other one was on the bottom of our deck, so. Yeah, this is pretty much a mulligan. You know what? I'm going to keep this. It has all the colors we need. It's not great, but... Speak of the devil. You can activate it twice. That's a good point. I'm not sure that does what you want it to, but it is something we can do. Okay, that's a Primeval Titan next turn, which is great. Uh, let's use green. Yeah, and considering they're red-green, they probably don't have a way to deal with that. Was the village changer just grab every land we saw, or what? Uh, no, it was not. Hmm. Let's get Steam Vents and Shambling Vent. Two Vents. Hashtag two Vents. This is just combat damage, right? Okay, so they can't like put it on this guy and then... Yeah, you're just going to kill this guy with whatever you have. Oh my god. Progenitus? <laughs> it's not going to be a Crater Hoof, that's for sure. Woodfall Primus? That's actually very good. Well, ideally, we can start drawing some lands here. They can't equip their Jitte, which is nice. Or not lands, non-lands. Okay, well, I guess not. I guess it's just going to be it's, it's lands all the way down. If you want to trade here, I'm okay with that, I think, because we just need to thin our deck and, and keep hitting things. Uh, let's get a Concealed Courtyard, because it will come into play tapped if we draw it naturally. I guess a Breeding Pool? Oh. Oh, yeah, I'll definitely kill this Master of the Wild Hunt. I mean, an Abrupt Decay or an Ultimate Price or any any spell in our hand is a, pretty much a blowout there, so. They took a chance, and uh, we just didn't have anything, so. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We've seen 13 lands and 2 spells this game. <laughs> Out of 15 cards. Uh, 
All right. Well, two turn clock. So you literally have to top deck something here. Don't really have words, I guess. I, I, I'm like, all right, sure. Magic the Gathering. Mm. Now they can sideboard against the Primeval Titan, so... Snap keep. Even though we can't play our bird until turn two. Still take it. That's true. We could just sideboard out a million lands. I think that's a good idea. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. So now we can play both of these. We can play this and then this tapped, which I probably I think that's probably the correct play. Could I just play a Johnny here? I wanted to keep up Erupt Decay. I think it's probably a Johnny, actually. We go to five, and then we go to three. But then we have a Johnny on the board. Yeah, that was probably better. I think I'm still on tilt for my land land situation. I also kind of want to keep Erupt Decay for the Jitte, so... Oh, definitely killing that instead. And I'm definitely doing it now, so that we don't have to save mana. Yeah, that's never... No. Yeah, I'm a fan of that. One, two, three... Doesn't matter. Alright. We have all the mana. They didn't do anything, and they also missed a mana. They missed a mana. <laughs> uh, let's play a Shambling Vent. Gain some life. Pass the turn. That's my sa my inner Saffron Olive coming through. Pass the turn. Play a Shambling Vent. Plus a Johnny. Pass the turn. Tap a, tap a Mountain Forest. Play Dismissive Pyromancer. Go to combat. Tag with Sylvan Advocate. <laughs> I'm just like, you don't really need to... You don't say, you have to say all the things you're doing at every given time. Please don't. <laughs> I'm just like, man, you're creating good content, but you don't have to say every single thing, right? Like, that's just excessive. Scratch my beard, swing my pen, tap me. <laughs> okay, that's funny. That's pretty funny.
I hope they missed that I can reactivate this again. Oh, they didn't. Dang. Cold Steel Heart. Hear me calling. Help me. That's a Journey song. You guys know? You guys know Journey? This guy's real big, and he makes my shambling vent real big. Oh, we actually have an island we can play too, which makes it significantly better. Blast blue. Yeah, this should be the end of the game. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Get him. Shambling vent going the distance, dude. Oh, uh, we should have attacked with bird. That was just a, I forgot. I always forget about the vigilance, even though it says that on the card. He's not really reading that area. Anyway, we got him, so it's fine. Don't even worry yourself about it. We got him. I think our deck is good. I'm trying to like figure out like do we have any weak cards? I think Nissa might be weak. I mean, we have Banishing Light and Abrupt Decay and Maelstrom Pulse for their, like, cheeky artifacts. I like this hand if we can get a black mana. I like it better if we can get two, but I think because we have Treachery and Double Blue, I'm going to keep it. We also need white mana. This hand's actually rough. Bird of Paradise would be good. Ultimate Price, black card. Seems about right. Oh, that was a good hit. That was nice. Any white source, and we can cast a Johnny next turn. Any black source, we can cast Gonti. Give me one of the one of the two. Oh, we did it. No, we didn't because we can't. It comes in play tapped, but still very very good for what we want. And we still have ultimate price up. All right, yeah, that was perfect. Someone sent Frank a slip to do a channel. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, the whole time. Play Wooded Cemetery tapped. Opponent taps four. Plays Garrick. Activates Garrick. Makes a wolf. Wolf comes into play. Goes to beginning of combat. Goes to end of combat. Goes to main phase. Ends the turn. Goes to upkeep. Goes to draw. <laughs> I'm just like, that'll do. That'll do. I feel like we have to get rid of this before we do anything, right? I really don't want to make infinite wolves, so. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to say yes here just to keep up. just to keep up ultimate price in case they play like a five mana guy that's pretty problematic and pat yeah i'll just kill this guy this is fine i just want to when it comes back to our turn i just want to make sure we have minimal uh minimal threats on their side Uh, I guess we just play this and Gonti. Doesn't matter, red. Something good. Rampaging Balos. Wow. That was hasty. Xenagos? Hmm? Alright, I'll take a Planeswalker. It's on, it's on brand, you know. Oh, another Xenagos. Dubs Xenagos. Okay, well, this is startling. I cannot steal that to the best of my knowledge. Hmm. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll have seven mana. We can't treachery this guy, right? It's not a creature. Two, three, four, five, six. We'll have seven. Oh, man. We do have Nicol Bolas mana, which is nice. I, I've yet to, like... Draw, we, I don't think we've drawn or cast Nicol Bolas once. I almost want to steal this because it forces them to play something. Like, it's not great. But we would be able to also play a Johnny this turn, too. Like, if they play anything good, we just have an answer for it. Who is your favorite friend? <laughs> I have no idea. What a crazy thing to say. Oh, this guy's good. Okay, that's fine. That's that's a dude we're stealing. That's exciting. Both at Xenagos? Both at... Ooh, one at me. I'm going to take six and block this guy. Because ideally a Johnny gets us back in this game and we can do all the things this turn. <gasps> Is that better? I don't think that's better actually because I want to be able to play a Johnny and start taking up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, we can treachery and then play a Johnny after that. Who's your favorite friend? Tell me. Tell me about your favorite friend. Uh, three, four, five. Treachery this guy. In response, I'll trigger this. Uh, I might as well add a white, I guess. One. Two, three. All right. I feel like we're in okay shape. They only have five mana. Whoever they play gets haste. So if it's like a, if it's like a primeval titan, we're just dead, which is pretty unfortunate. If they go land prime time, it's just really sad. I'm just looking to avoid. Dang. All right. Well, that was their only play, so I'm okay with that. Yes. Oh God. Yes. Damn boy, he thick boy. That's a thick ass boy. Damn. That's what we wanted. Uh, what do we need? Double black, 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 red, blue. Uh, I'm not going to attack here because we're trying to ultimate Nicobolus, and I'll just rather block whatever they have. God is indestructible, yeah, so destroying it doesn't do anything. They also didn't play anything last turn for five mana, so... The step is to ultimate planeswalkers, so that's what we're going to try to do. With a 10-10 on board, I feel like I'm in pretty good shape to attack with these guys. And then we nickel bolus you and you sack everything. I think we did it. I think we I think we satisfied the criteria of this stipulation. We just ultimated a Johnny, got a 10-10. We have a nickel bolus ready to ultimate. And we've even ultimated other people's planeswalkers in this stipulation. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, we can't steal the god just because it wasn't a creature. It was just a legendary enchantment. Uh, which is why we would have loved to do it sooner with like the treachery, but no, no boy, no. 
Um, yeah, if you guys want to submit your own stipulation, you can check out my Twitch profile. It's in the link in the description along with my Patreon page. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate the support. I'll see you later.